Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a real quick update to my barrel storage solution. Now I did a video just a little while ago. I will put that somewhere up here in the cards and I will also put it down in the description down below. You can check that out. Um, there's a barrel sitting just off frame here where I came up with a storage solution using a barrel to keep all of my high carbon tool steel uh, upright in the upright vertical position to take and save space. So what I've created here is I've done the same thing for my main steel um, situation here. Uh, as you can see, I've got a, a lot of steel in here and no joke, all these pieces are about 15 feet long or so, 15 to 20 foot long pieces, and they're all stood upright using a 55 gallon drum. Now what I've done with this is I've actually drilled through the barrel and I've put in three eighths inch diameter rods, very similar in a grid pattern like I did with the high carbon tool steel as well. So what I've also done is I've made up a shorter barrel. So I've made what you'd say maybe a third barrel or a half barrel situation where I've cut off half the barrel and I can show you the little excess piece here. Basically, I've cut the top off of a barrel, if you will, and uh, made a shorter barrel for shorter pieces. So this way, see if I can show this off here, little short pieces like this, I can stand upright in a barrel as well. Um, and now I've got a nice range. I've got the really big tall stuff, four feet and longer here in a vertical orientation. And then anything shorter, say, you know, two feet or so, um, anything below four foot long, down to about a foot and a half at 18 inches can then fit in this barrel right here. Uh, so this ought to be a really great situation and a really great setup for the shop. Um, really easy to do. So if you have barrels in your local vicinity, you can use an angle grinder, you can cut the lids off this. I have a plasma cutter, so I just plasma cut um, around the circumference of the piece. You can do this with an angle grinder and a simple step drill bit. Um, again, I have a plasma cutter, so it's nothing for me to go pssst and just put a hole in it and or uh, cut the top off with the plasma cutter. So that's really handy, but it can be done with an angle grinder and a step drill bit. One of the main features that I like to point out about this barrel system is you have got to leave yourself access to the bottom of the barrel. And the second thing, you want to take and cut a hole in the bottom of the barrel as well. Because if you're out in a shop that can be exposed to inclement weather, you don't want rain to come in and sit in the bottom of that barrel. You don't wanna have a rain barrel and half your steel stuck down in there. So provide a place for it to drain. Uh, just a few things to keep in mind. The main purpose of having the windows on the barrel itself is so this way you can reach down there and say you have somebody in your shop that's not normally in your shop, they drop a piece, you know, a foot long. I've got kids, sometimes they're out here in the shop, they help daddy from time to time. Sometimes I say, hey, go pick up that piece of steel over there and go put it, you know, on the rack or whatever, and they put it in the wrong place. Well, if it's in a four foot deep barrel, it's gone forever, or at least until you pull out all of that tonnage of steel. Now, as far as holding capacity, and I'm talking kind of quick because I'm not wanting to take up most of your time today. As far as holding capacity is concerned, I hope you guys can tell how much of a barrel of steel this is. That is a lot of steel in one area, in one way. So you can hold an impressive amount of steel in a barrel going vertical and upright. Um, by my calculations, I have about one ton of material right here. That's one ton of steel, just a little over, just about right around a ton. So that's 2,000 pounds for a ton of steel here, all loaded into this barrel, straight up. You may say, well, isn't that unstable? And it could be, but how many people are shoving and working back and forth on a barrel like this? Not many, right? Like, so it's a really a stationary object. Now, obviously if you're outside and there might be some kiting issues where winds blowing through pretty heavily, you may not want to put 20 foot lens straight up um, like that. They'd be a lot safer to the ground. Uh, so downside to a barrel situation. Let me, let me go over that real quick. 
The downside to a barrel operation is the fact that you are limited to the diameter of the barrel. That's number one. The second downside to a barrel situation is everything has got to be lifted up and out. So all this length of steel in order for me to lift something out, I have to lift it up at least four feet to make sure that it clears. And once that four foot of clearance happens, then I'm home free, right? And then we're good to go. But I have to lift it up that four feet. So that kind of bars you from using this method on anything substantial in size, like two or three inch diameter stock or anything like that. All that type stuff should be kept low and nice and laying horizontal or in a place where it can be easily forkable by a forklift or lift up by some other mechanical means, whether you're using a dolly or things like that. So that's just some stuff to keep in mind. These are some things uh, to keep in mind about the barrel system. It's not a perfect situation to store all materials, but it is a great situation to store some materials. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to support uh, great traditional content videos here on this channel, consider hitting that join button right next to that subscribe button. And you get a lot of great additional perks and benefits there as well. So that's it for today. God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one.